Hey loves, bonjour, mabuhay, and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to do a comparison between two of the most sought out sandals from Hermes, the Hermes Orange Sandals and the Hermes Chypre Sandals. Hey loves, welcome back! By the way, if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome, my name is Roma and it is so nice to meet you. In this channel, I do videos about luxury as well as contemporary items and also some motherhood lifestyle. So if you're into those topics, please consider giving this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and click the notification bell, that way you won't miss any of my video. So today we are going to talk about the Oren sandals as well as the Chypre sandals. Since it's almost summer, I think this is a nice time to talk about these two most sought out sandals from Hermes. I will give you my thoughts about each of them and a quick comparison about these two sandals. Okay, so I am going to start off with the first pair of shoes that I have purchased from Hermes and that pair is the Hermes Oren sandals. So I'm just going to give you a quick update of this pair. So this one I have purchased them I think yeah it was two seasons ago so around summer of 2021 I also made some videos about this I'm going to put them in the card just right there as well as a link in the description down below so you can check them out so this one like I've mentioned purchased around summer of 2021 it's almost two seasons that I have this I mainly wear them during spring summer and in fall and the one that I have is in the color gold uh, this is the older version as you can see it has a two-tone insole the newer version has just the one-tone insole and i purchased this uh, i think it was still under 500 euros because right now 2023 it is retailing for 565 euros and then i am in a size 35 and a half so like I mentioned a quick update about this so I opted for this color combo because this color combo is very easy to wear with different outfits different color uh, what I like about the orange sandals as well is that it is quite slim so since I have a small feet and narrow feet as well it was very easy for me with this pair and also the main thing why I bought the orange one it's because I can easily wear this uh, casually and also um, in formal style. Those were really the big plus, the color combo as well as the versatility when I can wear it. I do have two cons with this pair. The first con was, first and foremost, I had to wear them quite a while at first. I tried them for quite a while because it actually gave me some blisters, mainly here on the H part, because the leather was still rough at that time and it has to be softened out. So yeah, that what happened, had, I had some blisters and also the second con was, but it didn't really bug me that much, but I know it's a con. When I was walking with them, it makes this clack, 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 clack sound. So it's very noisy. But apart from those two, those are just really the only cons that I had with this. Up until now, they still do that clack clack noise, but it doesn't really bother me. And for the blisters, I don't get them much anymore. I still do from time to time when I reuse them after not wearing them for a while. I think it's mainly due to the leather. As for the wear and tear, I'm just going to show you in here, as you can see, there's this on the edge, somewhere on the edge, but not that much. And then also I have in here on the side, some glazing coming up, but those are just normal wear, I think for me, I don't have any wear uh, on the heel 
yet so i'm quite happy uh, to be honest my orange sandals are in a very good condition i always take care of them whenever i take them off i wipe them with some clean cloth so yeah and also i'm just going to show you sorry it's quite dirty i didn't put any sole at the bottom i will do that uh, once i know that i need them to be covered so i'm going to bring that uh the pair at the cobbler but for now i didn't resell them so yeah so those are the quick update of the orange sandals and why i have chose this color and the size okay so now i'm going to talk about the second pair of shoes that i have purchased from hermes and those are my chypre sandals so as you can see in here i have it in the two color combos i have it in white and a black one i actually made a video about these sandals i'm going to put the card just right there as well as a link in the description down below so for those of you who haven't seen it yet go check it out so i have them in these two color combos because these two are the most sorted color and very difficult to have or get so when they popped up online i immediately grabbed them uh, to be honest i think it's been a year or a year and a half that um these are always out of stock from the boutique so no way to buy them at the boutique so the only way for me was online shopping and so that's why when they popped up i immediately grabbed them the white one i have it in a 35 and a half and the black one i have it in a 36. at first i didn't want to have this kind of sandals but since it was popping everywhere on instagram I was like, I have to try them, but unfortunately not possible at the boutique and like my orange sandals where I purchased them. The only way for me, like I've mentioned, is online. So yeah, I got them in a 35 and a half, which is a true to size to me. And I also got it in a 36 because when I was watching a lot of YouTube videos, a lot of them mentioned that it's better to size up half a size or even a full size so since it's not possible for me to try them at the boutique i grab my size and also half a size up so yeah i also picked up this two color combos because i think they are most of the easiest one to wear at any seasons to be honest and also the comfiness because i'm just going to show it to you they're very they look at least comfortable and i can assure you that they are indeed very comfortable lasting also the current retail price for this sandals is 635 euros before i compare this to the orange sandals i'm just going to compare it first between these two mostly for the sizing because yeah of course color combo it's really up to you the color you choose but for me it's the sizing that really matters and it's been only a month month and a half that i have them but i've been lucky enough to be able to wear them i wore the black one first and i can already tell you that if i have to choose which one of them it will be the white one why because the black one it's a half a size bigger than my usual size and the reason that i took the 36 it's because lengthwise i think this was a lot better than the 35 and a half because it has a lip as you can see all around the sandal itself so when i wear this i can really feel that my feet is inside the lip unlike the 35 i don't feel the the lip when i wear this but when i just put my feet in it i can feel that yeah the 36 lengthwise is a lot better but once i start using them wearing them and walking with them it's the 35 and a half that suits me well because when i was walking with the 36 i kind of like feel a bit of rubbing in here on my feet and i was afraid to have some blisters and due to that i think i lost well this came out of my feet twice or at least three times during that 
whole day of wearing it. It's because I didn't want to have some blisters, so I was very careful. And since this is half a size bigger than my size, the width wise it's a, just a bit larger so when i was walking for example this is my feet i have to you know um be sure to put my toes up so that i will not lose the sandals it's not that i'm uncomfortable but i can feel that i am doing that movement more in comparison to the 35 and a half when i wore this at first i was a afraid that I might feel the same rubbing sensation that I had with the black one which was really not the case when I wore the white one I didn't feel any of that rubbing sensation and when I started to walk with this I was afraid that it might, might be just too short but once I walk with it no problem at all I didn't do that you know toe thing effect like that like the one that I have in the size 36 and since it's also a lot more tighter because it's smaller than the 36 a lot more tighter width wise my feet were a lot more secured in a certain way so in short length wise when i tried it 36 is a lot better but once i start using it wearing them on the street walking with them the 35 and a half which is a true to size for me is a lot more better so if i have to choose between these two i stick to the 35 and a half my true to size on a woman's version okay so now that i have talked about the oran sandals and then i have talked about the chypre sandals now i am just going to compare the oran sandals with the chypre sandals these two sandals are really the like i've mentioned earlier sought out sandals from Hermes especially this coming summer or even already now in spring and to be honest I'm quite happy that I have been able to score each of them just to compare as for size wise that I think that's the most important especially for those of you who are have got the Oran and want the sheep but not sure what size to pick and for those of you at Chypre um, and want some orange but not sure what size to pick for me personally since I have small feet and narrow feet I stayed true to size I am all over different brands at 35 and a half and I chose that for my Oran and I got it for my Chypre woman version of course and they are both comfortable 35 and a half is my size so I think European size of course so I think if you are 36 Oran you can stick with a 36 Chypre if you have a 36 Chypre you can stick with a 36 Oran but of course like I've mentioned if you have a narrow feet as I do because if you have a larger feet you have to try the Oran first because this is as you can see it's quite slim in comparison to the Chypre they are both 35 and a half but that's totally different sizing width wise uh, length wise I'm just going to show you it's not that different as you can see they are both the same but you can see in here the difference of width and due to that comfort wise honestly a lot more comfortable the sheep one because when I wore this I was immediately comfy in it no blisters no trying out for the leather to soften or whatsoever unlike the orange where I had to wear them more often so that the leather will soften so the only thing though is I think the orange is a lot more versatile than the Chypre especially if you would like to wear it casually both of them are okay but if you want to wear it in a more formal way i think it's the only oran sandals that can go with that you can always try the sheep of course but honestly oran will be a lot more better formal attire wise but other than that if you will be able to score each of them i'll say yeah go grab them both but if you have to choose just one of them it's hard to choose but i think that i will pick up the orange ones because it is a lot more versatile 
than the sheep, even though the sheep is really a lot more comfortable uh, immediately when you wear it uh, in comparison to the Oren. I think the Oren is, you can use it more in different occasions than the sheep ones. And also currently the Oren ones, I'm just talking about the leather version. I'm not talking about the shirling whatsoever. The Oren is cheaper than the sheep also. And the Oren ones, you can also find them at the boutique so you can try them out. Unlike the sheep, it's only online. So yeah, if you just have the opportunity to buy a second pair, yeah, go for the sheep. But if you can only choose one, I think it's better to go with the Oren's for its versatility. So there you go guys, that was my comparison video between my Oren sandals as well as my Chypre sandals. I hope that this video has helped some of you out there who don't know which um, sandals to pick first or the sizing as well. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comment section down below. Uh, I'll be happy to answer them if I can. And like I mentioned, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It will really help the algorithms of my channel. And for those of you who are enjoying the contents of my channel but aren't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing to my channel. So up until then, I hope to see you soon on the next video. Take care. Bye.